Hello, my name is Fraser Chadburn. I'm a specialist in IBM Rhapsody in particular and SysML in general. And in this video, I'm going to cover the callout notation in SysML. So, firstly, let's have a look at it. So essentially, callout notation is the use of a comment which is anchored to an element where the element owns a relationship and the relationships that it owns are shown in that comment. So here's the allocation relationship, which is essentially a dependency with the allocate stereotype applied in SysML. But comments with this callout notation can also be used for showing traceability to requirements, for example, satisfactions. Have a quick look through here. So here we've got trace to, refines, verifies, and satisfies. These are all the SysML stereotypes for traceability. Let's go to Rhapsody now and let's see how comments are supported with callout notation in the SysML profile. So firstly, I'll create a SysML project. I'll call it callout comments and use the SysML profile to create it. So I'm not using any other customizations at this point. And I'll add a block definition diagram. And we'll look at, firstly at how compartments work. So here I have a block and I might have another block. And I'm going to show there's an allocate relationship. So this is a dependency with the allocation stereotype. And using the display options for this, I can change the compartments to show that allocation. Now with requirements, I can do something very similar. So firstly, let's add a requirement and show traceability using a satisfaction dependency. And notice that the display options are not allowing me to put satisfaction automatically into a compartment. And these display options are covered by properties on the model. So if I look at the properties on the model, I'll just search for additional compartments. And you can see that this property has been overridden by the SysML stereotype on the project to allow these compartments to show which pertain to SysML. So if I want to show satisfaction in a compartment, one way I can do that is to set properties on the project. So I'll override that property on the project here so that satisfactions are in that additional compartments setting and that means I can show the traceability to the requirements now in a compartment. Now callout notation is very similar to that in the sense that we're showing these relationships but on a, a comment. So if I put a standard comment on here and I anchor that comment to the element, establish that relationship. Uh, then if I do a change to callout, then the, the same or similar display to what would be shown in a compartment is now shown in the comment, albeit that this is the SysML notation. Now, what is actually shown in that callout is controlled through properties. So callout notation, or the, sorry, the, so the callout new term type is essentially a stereotype in the SysML profile. So it's a stereotype applied to a comment and it carries with it some properties. So call out comments by default will be allocated to and allocated from on that comment, which means if I wanted to show satisfactions, I'd need to override those properties. So in this case, I'm overriding them just on this particular comment, which is part of the model. And I want to show satisfactions. So I've overridden that property on that particular comment and it's showing satisfactions. 
So if I establish new relationships in the model, then the compartments and the callout notation is updated. So it's powerful notation. It relies on you to be able to set properties and understand how properties are conveyed to a model. But it's aligned to the SysML specification and any other new term types that you define by tailoring properties in Rhapsody. So I hope that helps. So my name is Fraser Chadburn and I run a consultancy and training company specifically focused on Rhapsody. If you look at some of my feedback around the type of training I provide, it's about deep knowledge in the tools and having interesting interactive training that's focused on your needs. So if anybody needs to get in touch with me, then probably the best thing to do is send an email. Thank you very much.